What is a law? What is a law? Have you ever thought about that? What is a law? Who made it? Who created it? Why does it still exist? What is it? What are the parameters? And does it apply to you? You ever thought about that? What makes one particular law apply to you, but it may not necessarily apply to somebody else? Like the laws that they pass in Congress, why don't they apply to somebody in France or somebody in the United Arab Emirates? <laughs> why do, why does everybody live, who lives in the United States fall under the jurisdiction of that, that law? What is jurisdiction? Who says it applies to you? Why do we all buy into this stuff? If we stop buying into it, would anything change? In my opinion, the laws, all laws, are the opinions of politicians backed by the threat of brute force. They got the pistols, they got the prisons. So does that mean might makes right? You answer the question. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoon feed anybody. What's up, Tashanta? What's up, truth speaker? John Aaron King Braveheart is here. The awakened Satan with Christ. Man, <laughs> thank you guys for being here. We're going to go over a couple videos here. I'm going to kind of keep it short, this live stream short. Remember, this is in remembrance of Chile and his Delete Laws channel. We want to try to keep this Delete Laws channel alive while he is incarcerated in the Clark County Detention Center there in Las Vegas, Nevada for hurting absolutely no one, for threatening absolutely no one, for damaging absolutely no one's property, for stealing nothing, but he's going to be in there for a long time. And people rejoice. They applaud. So when you rejoice and applaud something like that, even if it's somebody you hate, somebody that you despise, you're applauding the chains of your own oppression. You're applauding your own, own demise. You're applauding that which is immoral. I would say, and if you disagree with that, I would like to hear from you. If you disagree that it is highly immoral to cage somebody in cement and steel under lock and key with guards in place, if you think that is right, tell me why you think it's right. And if that's right, what is wrong? What, what is wrong? What is right? What are rights? Should we exercise rights? If we exercise rights, can we expect na negative ramifications from this government who seems to excel in and major in being wrong? It's always going to be dangerous to be right when the government is so woefully wrong. I'm going to start this video out with this offering by San Joaquin Valley Transparency. He uploaded this a day ago on his Facebook page. If you haven't done so already, follow him, but we're going to start off with officer Hans right here, who looks like he's making up a little bit of a fib to meet a quota. Check this out. Officer Hans of the Binghamton Police Department. Why am I being har har harassed, sir? You're being stopped for a simple traffic violation. Not wearing for not, for not wearing my seatbelt. My okay. seatbelt's on. Your seatbelt is down. When you passed me, it was not on. That's not, that's not true. I'm asking for is your, your supervisor I'm here? asking for your identification. Is your supervisor here, officer Hans? What's your name and badge number? Trooper Hans. Two Call the state police barracks, 607-75. Being harassed just outside the spot diner, Binghamton, okay. New York. I'm gonna have you step out of the car. Okay. You're gonna step out of the car. You're gonna step out of the car. I'm being harassed, being harassed. If you're not gonna provide identification with me, you're gonna be detained until I can properly ID you. That's not a problem, get your supervisor here. Okay, step out of the car. Look what he's doing right now. Upper front street. Step out of the car. Upper you know, we should really view this as foreign interference on domestic land, on American soil. When you have somebody who just wants to, the the guy is not being accused of doing something wrong. He's not being accused of threatening anybody, harming another human being, jeopardizing, jeopardizing lives on the road. He's accused of not wearing his seatbelt. I'll tell you this. Don't call it the land of the free, home of the brave. If you are not free to not wear your seatbelt, you're not free. If you're not free to exercise your, conduct the affairs of your life the way you feel like it's pursuing life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If you're not free to do that, you're not free. If you're not free to be safe. Now, do I think it's a good idea to put your seatbelt on? Yeah. Do I think it should be mandated? by brute force and enforced by brute force? No.
Do I think it's a good idea to wear a helmet while you're on a motorcycle? Absolutely. But shouldn't you be free to not wear your helmet while you're riding your motorcycle? Yes, you should. Otherwise, this can't be called the land of the free. Or Front Street, Spot Diner. I'm being harassed right now by this officer. Step out of the car. All right. Get, get, get some backup. Get, get the nope. supervisor. He's that. harassing me. He's harassing me. She sees me all the time. She's. Why do we have to do this? It's what are you talking about? What do I have to do? Why do, we, why do we have to do this? Yeah, why do we have to do this, officer? I'm just driving around. It's a beautiful day. It looks like a cloudless sky, enjoying myself. And then you're pulling over here. A man with a gun, with the implied threat of force, has pulled me over and has interrupted my date and is now in the process of harassing and threatening me. Identification. That's all I'm asking. Get your supervisor here. Step out of the car. Come on. Step out of the car. It's I'm not going to have you pulling to the ground. I'm not going to pull you to the ground. You're going to step out of the car. This is an exclusive you won't see anywhere else. This guy reached out to me, and I'm going to read to you what he wrote. I was driving home from work, and this happened. Someone told me to send my video to you. I would appreciate it if you could get this video out to the public. This officer harassed me, lied about my infraction, and wrote me a citation with the court date. All right, folks, let me read to you what it says here. It's ticket season here in upstate New York. They are looking to meet a quota. I was upset because he made an honest mistake by assuming I wasn't buckled up. And instead of just letting me go, he tried saying I put the seatbelt on after he pulled me over and demanded my license. He was written a ticket and summoned to appear in court. Folks, is this what we're paying for as taxpayers? We're paying cops to harass us? That makes absolutely no sense to me. They're out there extorting the people with so many unsolved crimes. A whole bunch of episodes of cold case files because cops are incompetent. Uvalde, and Texas. Should how did we get to this point? How did we get to the point where they get to use our tax dollars to fund themselves, to employ themselves, and to harass the rest of us under this thing called traffic law, which there's no studies that show that any kind of traffic enforcement or traffic codes are keeping anybody safe. As a matter of fact, we know that they use the, the sobriety laws and the drunk driving laws to apprehend people who are sober and who aren't drunk, even to the point where the, you can blow triple zeros and they still take you in because they got a quota to meet. That's how ridiculous this whole thing is. And the entire thing from top to bottom is just unspeakably ridiculous and insane be a wake-up call for everyone cops are not here to protect the people the shaney v winnebago castle rock v gonzalez those case laws remind us that cops are only here to protect themselves and let me just point out castle rock v gonzalez that's the city of castle rock the town of castle rock versus gonzalez mrs gonzalez had put a restraining order against mr gonzalez to protect herself and her three children mr gonzalez violated the restraining order and while the restraining order was in place, this Mr. Gonzalez killed those three children, drove to the police station, the Castle Rock police station, had a shootout with the cops, and the cops discovered after this guy died that the three kids were taken to the police station in this guy's vehicle. And under the circumstances of having a restraining order, it was issued in Castle Rock versus uh, Gonzalez, the Supreme Court said, hey, even under those circumstances, the cops are not under any obligation whatsoever to protect any member of the public. Same thing with DeShaney versus Winnebago. So you mean to tell me that we as taxpayers are paying cops to protect themselves? Please help me understand that because I don't get it. I want to. Yeah, make it make sense. Thank you guys for reaching out to us, sending us your exclusive videos from New York all the way to California, everywhere in between. You guys know who's here to help this community grow. Give us as much information as possible. And with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. Have yourselves a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one. So that's David from San Joaquin Valley Transparency. Check out his Facebook page and give him a like, give him a share, give him a comment. It really helps channels like that get going. The... The thumbnail that I used for this video right here is this right here, where this lady is just out cold on the street. Can you see that right here? We're going to go over this video right here. This is a domestic violence call, 
And wait till you see, if you haven't seen it yet, I hadn't seen this until today. This thing has, this is from body cam POV. I guess that's point of view. 373,975 views. And for the most part, people are absolutely against the cop. I will just go ahead and give you the end from the beginning on this. The cop only gets fired after this, only gets fired. Doesn't see one second of jail time. Chili's got to go to jail for 180 days for having done nothing wrong, but, you know, violating the, I don't know, the, the unwritten 21 foot rule in the mind of officer Bork, but this cop who you're going to see just is completely violent against this defenseless handcuffed woman gets no days in jail. Make that make sense. Thanks for the comments, guys. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm Officer Craig with Adam Clark County Police Department. We got a call about a domestic disturbance here. No, um, the dogs are back there, but we're fine. Okay, but uh, can you tell me what happened? Oh, we're just mad at each other. Okay. Just screaming. We scream a lot. Can we? Um, yeah. Can we get him to come out? What? No. What do you mean no? I. <laughs> what do you mean no? Uh, last I checked, no means uh, no. Negative. No, you can't do it. So this woman's coming out saying, yeah, everything's fine now. We just got into an argument like couples do, like people in relationships do. They get into arguments. Things happen. Sometimes people throw stuff. But if the woman is sitting here saying, hey, everything's okay. No, you can't come in. No, he can't come out. That should be the end of it. But no, it's not the end of it. No, no. Okay. So you can go over here and talk to him for me, please. But we need for him to go ahead and step up. No, okay. no, please don't. So look, we have. So we're mandated by the state. We have to. We have to talk to him. We gotta talk. Please. Yeah. He's fine. We're mandated by the state. No, I would not like to. Please. No, you guys don't have to. Please. I know we do. you don't. I just, no. yes, or this we do. We do. Yes, okay. ma'am. So we're we're to we're to to, no, I would not like to. So I'm gonna need I need you to though. Right. Right now. Because I need you guys to tell me what happened. Nothing. Because, so but look, I can see there's blood on your hand. Yeah, he I, that's I his thing. But I understand. So no. I cut his hand on the door. No, ma please. Ma no, this is, this is my house. Ma no. No, ma ma no, ma no, this is this my house. Hey, Ma'am, I'm done talking. <laughs> Mandatory says no means yes in pig Latin. That's hilarious. I can come over no, here now. No, this is my house. Or you go to this is my house. Why are you opening Look at my him. door? Look at him trying to hey, let's see if we can't uh, violate the fourth amendment right here and make these people insecure in the person's how person's houses, papers, and effects. No warrant, no warrant. Just we got to call domestic violence. A call of domestic violence does not trump unalienable rights, Mr. Kappa. Hey, so, the house, why are you hey. opening my door? Huh? This is not open the door. Okay. Look, so now they can see both of them. You know, I can understand if they couldn't see one of them and one might be, you know, choking on his own blood on the kitchen floor with a knife plunged into his heart. But the guy's at the door, the woman's outside. There's no exigent circumstance that would compel them to break and entering without a warrant and go in to make things, make sure everything's okay. They're both saying everything is okay. Chill out. No, you're not coming in. Leave us alone. Okay, well, you need to open the door, okay? Open no, the door, man. No. You do. We, we're here to do. This is my house. Can you uh, unlock the door, man, so we can talk to you? No, why am I being held? Stop. Stop, no. or you're going to get stunned on the ground. That's my why, that's my I, final is, warning to you. Yeah. Stop. This is my house. You can stop. No, you guys are being wrong. You're at my house. I'm being handcuffed at my house. Don't. Don't me. I told you to stop, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, who's gonna make you don't stop, me. officer? Don't me. I told you to stop, didn't I? Already got her on the ground first time. Hey man, you need to come open the door. I'm good. 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 
Open the door. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Open the door, man. No, Sir, I, we are I'm here not. investigating. I, I have not done anything wrong. I We're need to look. I put myself on my own door. I know. So come out here no, and tell me. You got to tell me. I understand, man. So tell me. I didn't do anything. I understand. So let us help you. No, I will. I'll tell my door. So there's, brother, there's. Let us help you. You never want to hear that come out of a law enforcement agent's mouth. Let us help you. We're from the government. We're just here to help. Famous last words. All on the door. It doesn't matter. And there's matter. on you. We that, need to talk to you, you man. No, no, we're not. We're not. I need you to open the door, man. I need you to open the door. I'm not, dude. I'm hey, not open the door. Open the door. You gotta open the door, Look, man. I'm not opening the door. And you know as soon as she busts this door, but man, I'm gonna watch this phone and you can't get into it. It's gonna go public. That's so all. I'm not doing this. You guys. need Look, you need to open I, the door. I, I, Look, you gotta open the door, this. man. We didn't do anything you, wrong. you gotta open the door, it's my guy. We call the cops. You gotta open the, the door. You just gotta open the door. Sir, open the door or I'm going to open the door for you. Huh? Dang. Unlock the door. What's I, your name? I'm not telling you that. We're here to investigate a domestic That's disturbance. Cool. You're here to investigate, not to not And to you need trespass. to open the door. You We're not trespassing. trespassing. You are trespassing, bro. Okay. All right. I know my right. Okay. Man. That's fine. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. You got to open the door so we can abuse you. Exactly. It's like, you know, we noticed that you weren't abusing your wife or girlfriend enough. That's what we're here for. Nope. You need to just stay right here. You need to stay right here. I know. Do not leave anywhere. I need to see you. You have a phone, so stay right there. Okay, then I'll call down this Yeah, I need you to open the just door. Just open man. the door, man. Well, can y'all please call y'all supervisor? No, can open you, the door. Brother, look. Open the door. We can help you if you can help us. You need you to open the door, brother. You got to make it more complicated. You. We can help you. So, what, what help exactly are they offering here? We can help you. If you can help us, don't worry. We're just, we're just going to enter your house against your will and without your consent. Don't worry. We're just going to throw you to the ground and cuff your arms behind your back. Like we just did to your girlfriend. Don't worry. We got everything under control. It's really psychotic. It truly is. Open the door, man. I know open, the door. Right. open the door, man. Well, you need to open the door. No, please call your supervisor. I need you to open the door, they man. Will open, they will not. Call their I need you to open they the door. Call their but I need you to open the door so we can investigate. Can I have your badge number? Yeah, you can. I'm going to give it to you. Okay, you open open the door. Okay, I don't have to open the yes, you do, man. Open the door. Do, open the door. But I get, you're going to have to open can the door, man. Open the door. open the door. Open the door. Open the door. You got to open the door. Right now, it's obstruction, man. I need you to open the door. Open. How can you obstruct a cop? From within your own, you're obstructing us. You're keeping us from breaking and entering. You're keeping us from coming into your house without your consent. That's, that's, is that the charge? So what police agency is this? People are asking, what is this? Liana Beam is the girl. ACCPD. Anybody know what ACCPD is? What is this place? The cop is Officer Williams. Link to the article. Let's see the article. Athens. Is that Athens, Georgia? Could be Athens, Georgia. Open the door. Open the door. I need you to open the door. All right, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to open the door. Under what problem? I need you to I need you to, I need open. you to open the door, man. Sir, I need you to open the door. That's us, open man. The door. You gotta open the door, man. Open the door. Open the door. Why, okay. why do you have to kick it down you Because you are door. refusing to open the door, man. I need you to open the door. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Imagine Stop. going into somebody right else's house. Stop. Stop. Or you get tased. I will tase you, right you right now. Tase you right now. I have an officer at the really one. I'm getting there. Oh. They're, they're, they're tased. Come on, please. I would not do anything. Three. Who the heck Three. called the cops on these Here, people? Take my phone. I'm sorry. 
Here comes the hell. I know, guys. I'm not trying to tell you all that. IDF trained. Can you please yeah. tell me why I'm being arrested? Right now, it's... What? You're detained right now. For what? For what? I'm stuck here. What? Did you police this officers. Is my property. This is police officers. This is my property, man. Stick around, guys. Wait till you see what they do to this girl. It's just... Oh, it uh, uh, makes you cringe. Look. Are you kidding me? Bro, come on. I know you just saw that. Get up. This is my house. Wait a second. I did not even see that from the distance here. Let's see. I missed it. Oh, look. My house. Kidding me? I know my got him right. Uh, Look, he's looking are down. Are you kidding me? Bro, come on. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to see that move here in a second. Get up. This is my house. What are you doing? This is my house. I didn't ask you to come here. Don't put me in that car. You're going to jail now for obstruction. <laughs> From what? You came to my house and you put me in the car. Why are you doing this? Let's go. Why you no 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 and no? They love overpowering little girls. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Please help me. You just came into my house. I have no problem. I mean, let's just think about this for a second, okay? What did she do wrong? Who did she hurt? Who did she threaten? Is she a danger to society? Why is he treating her like this? And if you put yourself in his shoes, would you be doing this? I mean, could you actually bring yourself? to do this to somebody that you are not convinced at all they did anything wrong. All you had to do is say, okay, we got a domestic violence. We just need to make sure you both are okay. Is there anybody else in the house? Can we just, can you just stand in front of the window to assure us that, that nobody's gurgling on their blood in the, in the kitchen floor with a knife plunged into their chest? Can you just assure us, you know, that's all they had to do. Okay. Thanks. We'll write the report. I appreciate it. We got no business coming into your house. We got no business putting our hands on you. We've got no business cuffing your hands behind your back, let alone what this cop, Williams, is about to do to. Is it Williams? I want to make sure I get this right. Is it Officer Williams? Yeah, Officer Williams. Wait till you see what Officer Williams does to this girl. You just arrested me for nothing. Why are you, do why are you doing this? Why You're going to jail for obstruction. We already explained it to you. I literally was at my house. You know. Oh, yeah. What does the police door say? Somebody says it's Athens, Clark County. Let's see. Thanks, Angry Bat. Why are you doing, How you doing this? brother? Why are you doing this? All right, what does it say? Please. It says police. Help me. You just came into my house. I uh, no uh, Athens Clark. Problem. Okay. You Thank you. Right Athens Clark County. That's right. Athens Clark County. That would be Georgia. It'd be for nothing. Why are you do why are you doing this? Why You're going you to jail for obstruction. We already explained it to you. I literally was at my house. You know it's on my door. Why are you I honestly oh, why are you, you got anything on you? Anything to know about? No, I have nothing on me. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Go no, ahead and have a seat. why are you doing this? Stop. Have a seat or you can catch no. another charge. That's your choice. I have no reason that you should turn people. Catch another charge. Can <laughs> stop. That's the first that's the second time you threw it down. Away from me. Second time. Get up. Damn. Yeah, she should have never came out of the Get house. Up. Get up. Get up. No. Get up. Yeah, stop talking. You're so wrong for this. I agree. Get up. I do, I do, uh. Oh, God. Oh, my right God. Here. Oh my God, just, just that he let her do that just from that distance, but he ain't done yet. He's not done abusing his power and authority. He's still inebriated under his own sick will. It's just, oh, it just makes you want to jump through the screen and help this girl out. Man. What the heck? What the heck? You ain't seen nothing yet. Stick around. Yeah, the real heroes are at work. <clears throat> God, oh my gosh. This ain't it, guys. He's not done abusing her. I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't do anything. We didn't say anything about drugs. Do you have any on you? Why are you treating me like this? Get up. Stop. Stop touching me. Stop. Get up. Stop touching me. Stop. Stop. Get up. Me. No, I haven't done anything. 
<laughs> you treat me bad. I haven't done anything to you. <sighs> Guys, let me go ahead and give you a warning because in the next five minutes, things are going to get worse for this girl. So if you don't want to see it and this makes you, this raises your blood pressure and it would be bad for your heart. You, you've not seen anything yet. <laughs> So if you're if you're a sensitive type of person, just that's your warning right there. I just live here. I don't know why. Oh, you're... this April, this cop will be fired, but he doesn't need to be fired. He needs to be caged for a long, long time. And while our our bro Chili is in jail, this guy won't see one second of jail time. You're doing this. I really don't. I I don't. I think you're a good person. Why the longer you, you stand here, the more charges you're gonna get. Every time I tell you to get up and you don't, that's obstruction. But why am I getting into charges? I haven't get done anything. Get up. No, one, it's that's up one. Here. It's up here. Get I haven't up. done anything. I haven't done anything. Get up and get in the car. Okay. I mean, you're gonna cringe on the next one. Stop. Do not touch me. Get up. Do not touch me. Let me get up on my get own. Up. As soon as you get up, I'll let you go. Don't touch me. Get up. Let me get up on my own. Let's get up. Please let me get up get on up. my own. That's two. Please let me get up on get my up. own. Please let me get That's up on my charges. own. That's three charges. Please get let up. me get up on my own. That's four. Please let me get up on my own. Please let me get up on my own. Please. Please. Let's go in the car or I'm going to slam you on the ground again. In the car. I am crazy. It's insane. In the car. You're insane. You're insane. You're insane. She's right. Get in the car. He is. This is why people are Go. mad at you. I don't care. I didn't do anything. Get in the car. What have I done to you? To Get in the you? car. I don't no. care. Get in the what car. What have I done? I'm a, just a human being. Stop. 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 I have not done anything to disarm myself. Please. Please, man, help me. Please. Please. please Get please, in the please. car. I haven't done anything. I have not said no to anything. He's hurting me. Please. Get Please. in the car. He's trying to hurt me. Get yeah, he's a punk. And now neighbors are out. And, you know, you would think if you were just a regular, normal human being, you'd be like, officer, she's a little girl. You're a big dude. She's got her hands cuffed behind her back. She can't resist your will. What are you doing? What crime did she commit? Come on. What gives here? So this this bad part is coming up, guys. In the car. I live at this house. I live right here. Please, please, please. Mm. I'm not. This is not like, I'm, I'm not telling like, you or I'm going to slam you on the ground. I have not done anything to him. Do you hear that? This is the last time I'm telling you or I'm going to slam you on the ground. So this is already premeditated. He's already planning on doing this. Same. Get in the car. Please help me. Please. I'm trying to be nice. Get in the car. I literally live at this house. I've not done anything to so Get please. in the car. No, no. Oh. Are you kidding me? Did you hear that? Did you hear her head hit the ground? Get up. Guys, I'm going to play that back because I feel like it's necessary. You have to understand how brutal these people are. You have to understand that one of, if not the most evil, enters the world through order followers who are just doing their jobs. This And this isn't even, this kind of thing isn't in a job description. This is stuff they do on their own. Where does that come from? It can only come from an evil heart. Only an evil, emotionless, robot would do what you're about to see right here i'm so, I'm just kind of speechless i'm kind of speechless get in the car no no oh. Are you kidding me? god god oh get up she's out she's out get up she is out uh, Listen close because you're going to hear her snore because she's trying to, her body's trying to give breath to her body Get as up. she's unconscious. She was pulling away from me. Okay, so what is that? You're right. I don't Get have up. Me, guys. I'm a law abiding citizen. I paid for y'all goddamn taxes, bro. Come on. She's snoring. Can we get EMS around? She's out. I will turn. I will turn. 
We don't know. They were covering him. Her body's de desperately trying to get her brain oxygen while she's unconscious and while her airway is partially closed. So she is exhibiting some serious signs of being unconscious. I don't know how this lady can just stand there and keep her composure. I don't know. Maybe she's a thin blue line supporter or whatever. But yeah, this guy deserves attempted murder. We try to talk to them. She starts fighting with us. It's unknown. Can we get them 1018? No! No! That's my girlfriend! I don't have anything. Check my pockets right now. But that's my girlfriend, dude. Why'd you throw her down? Why'd you throw her down? Okay, so what is that? You're right. I don't have She was pulling away from me, so I thought I'd go ahead and knock her to the pavement head first, jeopardizing her neck, knocking out her teeth and giving her a permanent brain injury, if not killing her. That's what I thought I would do if she pulled away from me for absolutely doing nothing. No no reason to arrest her, no reason to stuff her in the back of the cop car. This is what, guys, this is what happens. Oftentimes, I'm not saying every time, but this is what happens time after time when a cop is doing a welfare check or domestic violence. It's probably best to keep psychopathic power tripping cops out of the equation. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I pay for y'all's goddamn taxes, bro. Come on. This is not y'all. This is not looking at this police, man. Stop being like this. Search me. No, dude. I will turn. I will turn. Get in the car. No. Y'all just threw my girlfriend on the ground. Get in the car. You, you ain't seen nothing yet, <laughs> unfortunately. And the only reason I'm... It's, it's a nervous laughter that I'm engaging in because I... You know, where do you go with this kind of stuff? If you step in to try to help this girl, you're going down. They're going to call reinforcements. I mean, is, maybe this is the hill we die on. What would you have done if you were in the neighborhood? Would you have gotten out your phone or would you have been involved in trying to help this girl out against this attacker, this literal attacker? Wait till you see when his henchmen come, the, the fellow bl boys in blue, the thin blue line gang members. Wait till you see how they treat her in her unconscious state. It's unknown. Yeah, it's sickening. So sickening. Can you tell me what happened? We don't know what happened. We know. We don't know. You don't know who called the police? Nope. They called you to this house? Yep, they were fighting. She's cut. She had blood on her hands. Refusing to let us talk to him who's covered in blood. She starts pulling away from me. And then that's, a, that's what happened. They were covered in blood. So you know what we decided to do? We decided to draw more blood. I've been trying to get her in the car for 20 minutes now. She starts pulling away from me, so she has to get on the ground. Watch how they handle her like a little rag doll. Look at this. She could have a cervical injury. She could have a spinal injury right now. Head trauma. Broken neck. Look, at, look they're just going to pick her up. We have AMS on the way. You don't treat somebody like that who just got slammed oh, yeah. head first Everybody into the ground. Guys, think about it. When you when you're pushed to the ground and your hands are tied behind your back and you can't brace your fall, your head's going to absorb that entire shock. The way she fell, I can't believe she has come to already. She must be one tough cookie. I mean, what would happen if she, is it going to take killing somebody like that for them to actually do something? We know with Daniel Shaver, when Philip Brailsford summarily executed Dan Daniel Shaver in that hotel room lobby, that hotel room hallway, he was acquitted of clear and obvious murder. This guy only loses his job. That's nothing. Probably keeps his pension, probably keeps his credentials so he can go into the next county over or the next state over and get another law enforcement job so he can exact tyranny on the next town. Yeah. Come on. Um, you you got to get in the car. Just come on. Got to slide you in. You want to sit her up? If you can. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is so disgusting. This is so disgusting and inhumane. I can't even stand 
to be sitting here right now. You just want to go and you want to help her and you want to, you want to take care of business, apprehend the criminals, bring them to justice. So helpless. So Hi, helpless. You, give me a hand with. So, Hi, so I have to slam you, on the ground twice. Give me a hand with. That way. I had to this slam her on the ground. So so real. Yeah, they should all be in jail. Every one of them. I completely agree. <laughs> Just turn her feet in. They want her to. You got to close the door because she'll come out. Go ahead. I got it. So sick, man. What happened? Why are you doing this? Try to avoid this. So Try to avoid this. The victim blaming. Ma'am, it was your fault. It was your I told you. If you didn't comply with my commands, you're going on the concrete. Told you that. It was all your fault. You made me do it. Psychopaths. One of the one of the the indicators of a psychopath is they will blame the victim for something they did to the victim. Do you know? Do you know who called? No, I so, like, yeah, are you familiar with these two? No, I all I know is it's, it's a, I think it's a rental property. I mean, I know I've seen them in and out of the house. Uh -huh. I, said, I know that I've seen them there, but I don't know if they're the owners or the. Hey, you have. Uh, I'm trying to. I don't see anybody else here who could have called. I don't know. They said they. No, so they said they saw them. Yeah. Well, they didn't see them. I heard them fighting, and then they saw them going this this uh house right here right. we go over there she comes out she's covered in blood she refuses to let us go talk to him right so she gets charged with she gets put in handcuffs right. i try to get her away from the door she starts fighting with me she goes she gets she gets arrested for obstruction right then and there right. I, so I and uh you don't get up it's another yeah so when we're over here and i'm trying to get in the car she starts pulling away from me again so i have to get on the ground and then she refuses to get up we finally get up right here and I guess she was talking to someone over here. He doesn't even need to do this. You know he's you know he's feeling guilty. He's cops playing to somebody who's not even a part of the situation. I don't know me. if it was you. It was me. Dana. And she starts pulling away from me again, so I have to take her down to the ground again. So all right, because people are asking again, this is Officer Williams. It's Officer Williams. He he loses his job for this, but seriously, he should be brought up on attempted manslaughter charges, attempted murder. This is Officer Williams. I don't know what his first name is, but it's from the Athens. What is it? The Athens, uh, Athens, Clark County, Georgia. Athens, Clark County, Georgia. Police Department. Her name is Liana Beam. Miss Liana Beam. The police department is ACCPD. Because the only reason for her to pull away from me is to get away. Right. So I'm just wondering who could have made that call. Is I have no right I have no idea. The yeah. caller and it could have been somebody on that side. The caller the, right the caller didn't tell us right. who they were, just no, are you know, familiar with them at all? Uh well I'm pretty sure they're both intoxicated. Yeah. But right now we have obstruction for her. Um, blood on both of them. I don't know how I got on them, but. From the house? Yeah. We finally got it. So the audio goes mute here. I think I found, let's see. I think I found the Facebook page for the Athens Clark County Police Department. We'll come back to volume here in a second. Let me see. So she hasn't been starting. Her friends start talking. Stop talking, friends. Stop talking. Is this your friend? This is my best friend. So Wait. she's very intoxicated and she's going to jail. So she hasn't been searched. I, I couldn't get that. I like literally just got yeah, her in the car before. He, I think he punched uh, like a window or something. And that's all that so I that, know. that makes sense. Oh, wow. Some of you guys are already sharing this live stream on the Athens, Clark County. Let me, let me give you the link here. 
content it isn't available right now why would that be what happens clark county i'm looking at it on go to news feed i'm looking at it on firefox oh it's because i'm not logged in it's because i'm not logged in let me see if i can i think i can share this with you let's see if this is showing up yeah Firefox. Here's somebody. Look at this. Robert Baird already said you're tyrant thugs under the Athens Clark County Police Department, which is where this cop's from. The date that this happened, that would be important to take a look at. Let me see. May 4th, 2022. Wow, this was a quite a while ago. This is previously on the channel, but there's been an update. Williams was, oh, he was fired on May 4th, 2022. He appealed, but the firing, the termination, was upheld by a personal review board, personnel review board, according to the suit. So there was a lawsuit launched. It was October 17th, 2021. So this happened some time ago, two and a half years ago. So yeah, I guess if you if you go to their the Clark County police department facebook page don't act like it just happened but you know this still is in play because they did not jail this guy they did not bring him up on criminal charges they basically just gave him gave him a way out they terminated him can you imagine offing somebody or attempting to off somebody in society and the worst thing that happens to you is that you lose your little career that's all that happens What's going to happen to you? What's going to happen to me if I hurt somebody? Oh, the worst that could possibly happen is that you'll lose your job. You might go on paid administrative leave first, but don't worry. We'll watch out for you and we'll make sure we can get you. We'll put in a good word for you in the next county over. I know the police chief down there. The broken glass noise, but I'll yeah. finish filling you in over here. So. No, that's why, because. Yeah. Can we help you? Nemesis says, I have an accident on my job and I get fired. It's something completely non-intentional, maybe even beyond my control. I get fired. Okay. We'll come over here and talk to you, but you can't walk up on the crime scene, okay? So can you talk to me and tell me what happened? You can't walk up on the crime scene. The reason there is a crime is because you boys in blue committed it. Now you can't walk up on the crime scene we just created. There wasn't a crime scene before they got there, by the way. Um, I just got a phone call and they yeah, said, can you come over here? Friend. Wow. Okay. Well, do you know their relationship? Her and that guy? Uh, yeah, their boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay. So. Yeah, he, I think he punched. Uh, Somebody's saying in the room, he claimed it was a wrongful termination based upon discrimination of his race. What the heck? Wow. That's what, yeah. It was very like jumbled when they called. How long ago did this happen? Take a deep breath. Okay. Um, you know, the, the, the rest of this video is just them getting information. Let's see if they visit. I think they talked to her again in the back seat. Yeah, here we go. We'll just listen to this and then we'll make a couple of closing comments on the video. I don't, I don't, we didn't get that far. Hey, how are you? I'm Sergeant Emmett of the Clark County Police. How are you? Well, one of your blue line thugs almost killed me. Other than that, I'm still not doing too good because I'm still in the backseat of this stupid car with my hands tied behind my back. Police Department, what's your name? Um, Leanna. Leanna? Yes, I like to go out to the Okay. What, um, what's your last name, Leanna? Bean. Bean. How do you spell that? B-E-A-M? Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know why I'm being Okay. Held. So here, here's, the, here's the situation right now. I'm going to explain it to you, okay? Okay. So good. you are currently under arrest for obstruction, okay? I you are interfering with an investigation in reference to a domestic incident that we got a phone call about. It's not and then you repeated and it you then you repeatedly refused to cooperate yeah, with the officer I'm, because you're being in you're being detained, you're lawfully detained, and when, when you refuse to comply with an officer at that point in time and you're resisting and you're pulling and you're trying to run off. You yeah, because I want to go home. Well, unfortunately, that's not an option I, at this point in time. Really okay. Wrong. Do you have anything on you at all that would get you in trouble? Do you have any guns, drugs, knives, bombs, anything like that? No. Okay. Do you have any pockets on what you're wearing no. at all? No. Okay. So is it is this like a dress kind of thing or something like that? 
yeah. Okay. So because you are detaining in handcuffs, we have to check you to make sure that you don't have any weapons or anything like that on you. Okay. We so, need to make sure that you don't try to hurt us after we almost try to kill you. We need to make sure any guns, knives, drugs, bombs, weapons, anything. Would you step out of the vehicle for me so I can use the back I of my would, hand and check but you? I'm, but you're going to have to oh, go back he gets the, back the, the vehicle, checker. Right? Why? Because you're under arrest. For what? For obstruction. Against what? Against obstruction of a police officer. <laughs> That's not fair. Well, ma'am, no, it's not. Refuse to comply, and when Will they're you guys came to my house. Yes, ma'am, because we received a phone call in reference to a domestic incident, or we heard broken glass, and we need to investigate the domestic incident. And you interfered with that investigation. Ma'am, it's my house. It doesn't matter if it's your house or not. We have a requirement. We have a requirement. So, in their minds, the requirement of the police station, if there is one, trumps unalienable rights. I, I don't like the way you are treated. I'm just a person that's coming back okay. out. No, it's not okay. The way you're treating me is not okay. Do you not feel bad? I'm not doing anything. I haven't done anything. Right. Do you not feel kind of bad? I love that. I love what she said. You know, it's the simple things. Do you not feel kind of bad for what you guys just did when you didn't have to do it and it was her house and you should have just moved along, but you escalated everything? Yeah, just, this is not helping the situation at all right now. Okay? Oh my God, whatever, whatever, okay. whatever you need to do. So, I don't like the step, police officers that need to me down. That's fine. I wasn't I here when that anything. happened. I'm sorry. Well, when you're well, pulling you away see. and resisting, that's doing something, okay? I live here. Well, you're still under arrest. Turn around and face the door for me, okay? You don't have anything on you, right? No, I don't okay. have anything We're on me. I'm just going to double check and make sure, okay? Are you hurt anywhere that you can... I have no desire to sit here and watch him pat her down. You know, it's a sad state of affairs when in America you cannot resist evil without evil really ratcheting it up and calling other evil people and then making sure more evil comes to you because you didn't comply with their initial evil. What a... What, this is such... Oh my gosh, man. I should not have wore a sweatshirt while I was doing this live stream. I am burning up, man. When I see this kind of stuff, I just start sweating. My gosh. April, thank you so much for gifting five memberships to people in the room. Hicks says, I hope this helps Chili. Thank you, Hicks. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys donating. Appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you can, if you got some time, maybe watch two or three of Chili's older videos. They're reconstituting some more videos, some, some more of the team who are part of this channel who are uploading videos on the other side of it. Where they're uploading the live long, I mean, the long form videos and some of the short videos. If you can take a look at that, we can all get together and keep this channel alive. There's 500,000 subscribers, over 500,000. So if we all just watch a couple of videos a day and just maybe, you know, watch some of the live streams, give them likes and let's uh, overcome the algorithm. I really appreciate it. And grab, go to deletelaws.com. That's deletelaws.com and grab some trifolds and some cop cards and the hoodies until they run out. I don't know how many are left or 50 bucks each. So I appreciate you guys joining. Thanks for being here. Uh, if I hear anything else from Chile, you will, you will definitely get an update via this channel. Remember guys, freedom has a price and that price is eternal vigilance and indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. I got an idea. Let's stop securing our own oppression and let's start today. I will see you guys in the next live stream. Take care.